Okay, so again, I mean, you know, there are a lot of elements that are very interesting that have been raised, but I am going to be, uh, you know, also very direct and very <laughs> straightforward. We are in 2023, and I would not say most, but uh, a significant part of the signal we have about outbreak in the world is coming through event-based surveillance. So there are surveillance systems in the country, but we have to rely on event-based surveillance, including media, to be aware of what's going on. This is a reality, not always, but for new outbreak, after when the outbreak has been declared by the country, things are improving. But, so this needs to be changed. Again, the, 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 the thing I want to, to uh, to deconstruct, it's not just a notification to WHO under health regulation that we all know never worked. <laughs> that way it was changed in 2005 uh, because the country were not reported cholera. Okay, so I mean, you know, you can read on the, e, the WER uh, that are published every year that we know that the data are very limited, very partial, and difficult to interpret. So, collectively, this is what we need to change. I hear very well, you know, the challenge and, you know, through which way the information is going to be channeled. So, this is uh, important, but it's a detail if we have system through which everybody will need to have access to information with ensuring the necessary level of protection of the same information, the problem is over. So I sometimes wonder why you have to go from the Ministry of Health to the country office, to the regional office, to WHO in Geneva. Everything should be shared at the same time. Another thing that, you know, we are talking about how are we going to go forward. One of the things which is very important for us is, first things, we do not want to have data with names. We don't need that. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's a detail. Uh, but it's a detail. Uh, okay, we delay them when we have that, but we don't need this level of, uh, you know, this is not important. Uh, the level of, you know, confidentiality, I mean, you know, we don't need to have the address, you know, I mean, sometimes a GPS point would be more important, but so the, uh, so the thing is, there will be some guidance of, you know, what, uh, and this is under development about, you know, what is your minimum requirement, how the, the, uh, the surveillance, the data, which type of data should be, could be shared. Something which is also important is a part of the thing that we are exploring is to prevent country redoing something that they are already doing. Okay, so they have some country that are already collecting data, sharing data. So this is why we need also to have a little bit of uh, technology to be able to do this plug and play, you know? So uh, how to import data, for example, for country who are willing to share data from DIHS too or from other system. But for that, there is a need to have a platform. So all these things are in progress. Uh, again, uh, I'm not going to, uh, to, uh, to tell you that, you know, it's, it's going to be solved by the click of the finger because we need to have resources and sustainable resources to develop that, to maintain. Uh, again, to do uh, meaningful analysis, we need to have the people to do this kind of things. It's not just to collect the data and, and, and to, to, to throw them back. But I do believe, and this is something that I've been personally fighting for the past years, uh, uh, we need to have data available in a meaningful way for people who are fighting cholera, for both partners, uh, for advocacy purposes, uh, for neighboring country. I mean, you know, the, the, the one example, and, and, and I, Placid, you know it. I mean, and every time I look at, you know, the, the amount of DRC and Katanga, and, uh, and then the other one in, can we not have the same map? So now, thanks to the work that is done by the team, we can have a, a, a global, not a global, um, a focused, 
We have had some other discussion this week. With, we need to change also. It's not just about geographical uh, uh, approach, but you know, uh, also having a community approach. You know, with cross-border people, nomadic people that are going from one side to the other side of the border. So this information is important. We have uh, currently, and uh, uh, Dr. Kungu know it, uh, you know, outbreak between Ethiopia, Somalia, uh, and Kenya. I mean, they have to be addressed at the same way, and not in a piecemeal approach. With uh, you know, uh, uh, let's do a little bit of vaccination here and there. And there. So we are talking about this kind of thing. So again. It's information for action. It's not information just for the sake of having information and having a glossy C trap. So this is what we need and the we all of us. So it will take time. The thing which is also important, we are totally aware that not all the country are in the same situation. Some country have already that, that their, their system. For some country, it will be very easy. For some other country, it will be complicated. Uh, it was mentioned, uh, uh, you know, on the survey, there are still some countries that are relying on paper-based uh, data, okay? So this will take a little bit more time. The, uh, uh, the data are not comparable with one country to another one so far. So Rome was not built on one day. <laughs> it will take time, but any step we make toward the right direction is bringing all of us closer to the elimination, which is a goal that we are all uh, we are all looking at. So the road is going to continue being bumpy, but that <laughs> uh, it has been bumpy before and it will continue, but this is not a challenge. So let's try to think out of the box, respecting the necessary confidentiality, et cetera, et cetera. But there is no reason, absolutely no reason, at four. Hundreds of diseases that are collected, shared on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. Uh, COVID was an example, yellow fever, meningitis, influenza, God knows what, you know, with, with, uh, uh, and for cholera, we can't. Of course we can. So let's do it. It will be progressive. And that's fine. Some country will have some information, and in one year or two years, they will have the rest of the information. What we need to, to demonstrate is progress. So bear with us, stay with us, share information. And, and sharing information is not, you know, the, the more we have the information, it's not to hide. We are in a world where it's gone. You know, the, uh, you know the, the, I work in epidemic intelligence for a long time. People have to stop thinking that they will hide information for a while. No, it's just a matter of days, but somebody will find out. So information is for action is no longer power. The time where people could think that, you know, because they have the information, they could, you know, do things. This is gone. So this is really an opportunity. Uh, we will discuss tomorrow uh, about the surveillance, but also the lab, how to improve the, 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 uh, the validity of the information, et cetera, et cetera. But this is an important step. So, uh, but that can only be successful if it's a collective effort. So I'll stop there. I know it has been a long day and, uh, and there will be more discussion tomorrow, but uh, I think it's really important for everybody to go back home. It's, it's what can we share? Thank you in advance.